Jacob Fowler had his moments where he was really, really sharp on the penalty. Came out off the top of the show. Ambrosio, vote and Yelvik, though, turned over here. O'Connell shot stopped by Michigan State, and he's followed it up to start this year with 10 points in his first seven. Neenhaus, that missed the net, and has to get it to Yelvik, and Yelvik's free. Oscar Yelvik just missed on the near side. Levshnoff, the young defense in that we... Savage nearly had a lane, kept his footing somehow, but it was played back to center by Boston College. Uh, just to finish my thought, Levshnoff... Kind of Boston University. You'll see, Lesh, he, he looks, he thinks that pass is going to the outside, and it opens up, and, and Neenhaus. College's penalty kill has been solid throughout the course of the season. Started 16 for 16, that's a save by Fowler. Larson on the near side. Lefschnoff back for Davidson. Good passing. Mueller missed the net high. And the penalty. Savage still on it. Got to the middle. Comes free to Lefschnoff. And Jacob Fowler's there. That one, no, no concerns with that. He smothers it like a vacuum. Really nice job getting up to the top of his crease and allowing fresh... Little Caesars pizza, I mean. It's as good as it gets. <laughs> Larson sends it over. Open man uh, glove down. Oh, cuddle denied by Feller. Part of it is, and we'll see a very good angle from here. Watch him get to the top of his crease. He steps and closes out. He's got his hands out in front of him. There's absolutely no room for this puck to go in. Ambrosio used his speed to get to center. Still chugging it forward, but Lefschnoff is there. Turns it back to O'Connell at center. Lefschnoff turning 18 tomorrow? Yep. That's amazing. Looks like a monster. Belarus played in the USHL last year with Green Bay. Doesn't he look way bigger than 6'2"? Four lines. Two on one back for Michigan State. Davidson is control. Make a play there. Hershuk does a nice job in the middle. Plus the back check. Fowler can read all of that. He can set his feet. Top of his crease. No holes at all. Big shots so far this season. Sixth fewest shots allowed nationally. Lefschnoff. That one missed the net wide. Been doing this for six years. About time we're on the same page. Right? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's far from your fault. Russell in the corner as that bounces off, and it does come out to center here with Levshnov. That comes in offside. 5:26 remaining in the first. And Boston College won for the fifth time in six games. At 32 seconds remaining on the Boston College power play, and Michigan State will bring it back out to center. Another. All it is is a little backhand chip to the half wall. Maybe live another day. Instead, he tries to make a pass through the Michigan State legs. It's not there, and it allows Michigan State to kill off the rest of the penalty. Jack Malone brings it in, but the Eagles were offside. And that Osma got a hit in, and here is Aiden Hershock. Hershock all the way. Lots have started to swing in favor of BC. A couple of power plays, obviously. They've been in this end. There's Ryan Leonard. Might have even gone off the skates of Connor Joyce. Left Schnaff once more. Big shot deflected. Comes to the near side. Left Schnaff. This time on the right side. Throws it in again. That's blocked clean. Off the skate of Left Schnaff with Springs Connor Joyce. And a save, Augustine. And have the shorthanded opportunity. Yeah, he was able to skate right in on that. Nice block in front, just keep talking about the blocks, and that one turned into offense for the Eagles. Shot off. Both of these power plays, as that's played to center. Fowler, the save, rebound, set loose! Still alive here, couple oh. of hacks out of there. The point I was gonna make before, there's been very few clean face-off wins for either of these power plays this weekend. And a big reason why the penalty kill's been so strong. Mueller, who's back in on the power play group. Mueller sets up the chance to save Fowler. Rebound was loose on the try from Larson, who's got it again. Left Schnoff now, played over to Larson. Fans on the first try, couldn't get the stick on this. Again, not a lot of end zone time there. Michigan State coming quickly off the chain, sprung by Augustine. Kelly shot deflected to the near side. Then Left Schnoff in deep, leaves it for Kelly. Left Schnaff, not afraid to get involved in the offense. And now Gabe Perot comes out for Boston College. So even strength hockey, both teams 0 for 2 on the power play. Ryan Leonard off the wall, spins away. 
That could only dump it in. Nash Neen howling from his left to right. It's actually the rebound play here that we got, and that's that opportunity. Howard had two of them right there. Not able to get it up and over that pad of Fowler. Real good chances. Staying with it all the way through. Things for Cutter Gauthier. Yeah, he's got a rocket. That shot, O'Connell, tough angle controlled by Fowler. Here for another few months and develop and get lots of reps and lots of opportunities, and more importantly than anything else, score a bunch of goals. Mueller plays it to Shouty on the wall. That shot missed wide. Comes Michigan State's got to find a way to generate here. They, they, it's, it's not the same vibe or same feel. Here is Lepschnoff. Plays it over for Gucci. Artie comes in on the backhand. That's blocked. A couple of these have not missed by much. Dorward again. Tough angle. Fowler back. In for Howard. Again a tough angle. And again Fowler's there. Nash Neenhouse off the wall. Comes to center, little miscommunication with Levshnoff there, and it's out of the zone, and Ryan Leonard back on it. Leonard in, still on it, over for Gasso, couldn't find his forehand. Plays it off the wall, Charlie Letty. And then Will Smith dumps in for Hershuk. Leonard's in deep away from Nash Neenhouse, who got a hit in, still manages to center up. Gucciardi off the wall for Nicholas Mueller on a good find. Mueller to Davidson coming in, and that's... And Powell will go back to get it. Lefshnoff in deep. Lefshnoff across. Oh, oh, what a save, Fowler. Lucas Gustafson in with Eamon Powell, and now Cutter Gauthier picks it up once more. Gauthier comes in at a tough angle against Lefshnoff. Who did a good... Had to go back against the grain or just missed his shot. He had a lot of room. We talked about this big young defenseman, great hands. You see all the all, all of that net open on the left, but because Joey Larson's a right-handed goal to go to that left. College with 5.30 remaining in this second period. Played off the wall. Fowler got a piece of it. An amazing sport sometimes. It's separated by 24 hours, and this second period could not be more different than the one that we saw yesterday. It doesn't even feel like the same two teams on the ice. It's a bit of a slog here for both groups. Heavy legs maybe from playing last night. This is why Larson plays it off the wall. Pascal stops it on the line, shoots in. That's knocked down. Rebound O'Connell. Howard can start the rush for Michigan State. Russell. And Howard there again. Gasso held the line momentarily for BC. And then it deflects. Let's talk a little bit about Jacob Fowler's journey here to Chestnut Hill. He was undrafted in the USHL draft. He signed out of a mini camp near Youngstown. Ended up playing at the end of 2022 and then last year burst on the scene. Was the USHL goal of the year. Ended up being named the USA goaltender of the year as well. Selected in the third round of the Montreal Canadiens. So it's been a quick rock Fowler, but he has really impressed scouts and vaulted up U.S. goaltending prospect boards, whatever you want to call them. And now after committing to Boston College and starting as a freshman here for the Eagles. Yeah, it happens a lot with goaltenders. It just takes a little bit of time. Everybody grows. They don't necessarily have the same opportunities. That's turned over. It was free. Will Smith's. It just takes a little bit longer, become free agents, find their spot, the right circumstance. And for Fowler, those have clicked for him in a big way the last couple of years. Teen World Championship winning gold medal team. That's thrown on. Fowler sees it clean and gloves it. O'Connell for Larson down the near side. Shot is stopped again by Fowler. Really nice job. This is another game where BC takes the lead into the third period. It was a one goal lead against Denver and then last night against Michigan State. They did not hold it last Saturday, but then they responded and did hold it last night. And again, we talked about this on the air last night. Again, no game is apples to apples. Every game is kind of different, so it's hard to compare game over game directly sometimes. As O'Connell comes in, that miss the net, comes around to the near side. But if we take it for what it's worth, it's night for BC, and they'll try to do it again here with a 2-0 lead today. Back for Gasso. That's a save, Augustine. And knocked down by Lefschnoff. And by the way, for what it's worth. Believing in yourself, and there's no question that these players, for the Eagles, that comes across. It's on the backside for Savage, and Fowler was there once again. And Manisto plays it in where Fowler slows it down. 
Those shots are officially even at 25. That is blocked aside by Fowler. Comes out to Gucciardi. Try to get around. Who still managed to get a stick on it. Then played over for Manisto. Back for Baker. And it's blocked away by Fowler. Got to go back and get a new one. And Lefschnoff will play it in. We play on in the third. Good. Ahead of Neenhaus. And is on possession behind the net. And wraps around. It's loose on the short side. And Augustine couldn't quite find it at first. Still in front. Smith on a rising back. This time. Perot picks it up. Now it's Leonard right there. Good stick by Lefschnoff to prevent the shot. Leonard under the stick of Ryan Leonard. And Isaac Howard back the other way. Howard quick shot. Knocked down by Fowler. Michigan State still on it. Quinnipiac in Denver. That's a quick play in front. Another safe Fowler bouncing puck. Still loose. Couldn't find it. Rebound score. Great faceoff play. Let's take a look at this. You're going to see the off wing, wing defenseman jump in as well as the winger Isaac Howard. Both guys get open on the side. Forward bangs in the extra rebound. Real nice save there. Real the second one. That one you want him smother. He goes after it. And unfortunately, ooh. Davidson. Over for Artem Lefschnoff. That gets knocked down. A bro so we talked a lot about Michigan State's penalty kill. Boston College has been very strong so far today as Howard comes around. Isaac Howard on it for a while. Stops at the dot. Comes through. Pass to this little bit earlier as the extra skater. Transfer coming in from Brown. That is, I think Fowler got a... Frostman back in for Michigan State. That is sticked aside by Fowler with 6.08 remaining. Larson trying again, giving himself space. One timer, Savage knocked out Fowler, and he got the right arm sprawl to cross it. It'd be perfect the entire season in the third period. There's other good teams, there's things that happen circumstance at the end. Larson on a bouncing puck. Again, you can't. It's hard to compare penalty minutes taken one game to another because every ref and crew is That's different, right. right? So some games just going to be more naturally in the flow of the game. Here's Larson. That's deflected. Which made them do. Players are like that. It's nice amazing. Save. Fowler there. Then another one missed the net wide. Mueller comes around. Tough angle. Conference. Dorwart throws it on Fowler. Trip at the goal down at the other end. 4-1. This is <laughs> this is flashing red light. Cutter Gauthier oh. couldn't quite spin it. Michigan State forces it back in. In behind. That's loose in front. Minetti in reaching for it. Does manage to get it out of the slot. Then Andre Gasso got it ahead. Gasso off the wall. Throws it on. Just missed. 36 to go. An empty net. Not a lot of rush opportunities. Not a lot of power play opportunities. And as a goaltender, that makes you the most comfortable. When it's 5-on-5, five five, you can read the play. Point shots coming to the net. It makes it a lot easier. And when you do get opportunities like this one from from Mueller, Nicholas Mueller, you're ready and you're comfortable and you're confident. So those saves are a lot easier after getting random work at different times. So Jacob Fowler's done a really nice job tonight. He's been real solid all evening and this is only going to grow his game. We talk about the young players, but the young goaltenders as well need, sh need nights like this where it goes their way. They can build going up against big programs like Michigan State. It took you know, 30, actually they just updated the stats, 37 saves for Fowler. Now that comes out, there's number 38. Next week and you look at your numbers and they're much better. And we've talked about it. BC is no stranger to freshman goalies as their workhorse. We've mentioned it a lot. Knight, Wall, Demko, John Muse won a national championship playing every... Oh, go for it. Go for it. Go Fowler, for it. Fowler, why not? Uh, Didn't have enough on it. And Mueller holds the line. You got to turn up ice there, chum. 4-1 <laughs> with a minute left. Goal, though, deflected in on the pass over for Cutter Gauthier. There's...